Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today, this Easter weekend. Staying in, staying with your families, and doing all that good gear. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a Chelsea News video where I'm going to be discussing three topics. The first being Chelsea's forgotten man, Marco Van Hinkle. Such a talented and exciting player who's still only 27. Maybe he's one of those players that you think, oh man, he's 27 now, as in time flies. But the truth is, that's still pretty young and in his prime, and he was so, so talented and highly rated. He's fully fit, back at Chelsea, raring to go. Could he be a big player in Frank Lampard's project? Maybe. Who knows? The Cogs continue to turn in the background of football even when it is not being played. Gabrielle of Lille apparently is still a hot story, and Chelsea are reportedly confident of still sealing the transfer. I want to talk a little bit about that. And your classic cliche transfer story when all that needs to happen is an agent needs to say one thing and you've got headlines all over the gaff. Lautaro Martinez's agent has confirmed Chelsea interest and contacts. Dun dun dun! Très dramatique. So I'll be expressing my opinion on the player as well and what I think and giving you guys some lovely Chelsea Football Club related content. But I want to take one moment to firstly thank everyone who has donated to my NHS fundraiser to help support the NHS in this very difficult and turbulent time. The campaign ends in two days. So for those of you who still wanted to donate who haven't done so yet, there's still a chance and you have an opportunity to get a Chelsea Football Club shirt if you drop your Twitter handle in your donation message and I'll, as I'll pick someone out uh, at random at the end of the fundraiser campaign uh, you can donate as little as you can basically or as much as you can or as little as you're comfortable with basically what I'm trying to say is every little helps <laughs> so thank you to everyone who's donated please consider donating if you haven't click the link in the top of the description let's start off with Marco Van Hinkle the uh, 27 year old creative attacking midfielder who's been on Chelsea's books for a long long time now but has been away in Holland he's been like you know your classic Chelsea football club loan story although he was a very much a success story in Holland. He did like what Mason Mount did, went out there, went on loan, played a bunch of games. I mean, it's probably a bit different for Marco because he's actually Dutch, but the point being, he'd absolutely tore up at Piers Vianhoven. He's so, so, so highly rated, so talented. Um, you know, he's been a skipper at a young age. He can lead a team, he can score goals, he can assist. He's uh, just very technically talented. And he's a Chelsea player who's now fully fit back at Chelsea. He's been allowed to train in the stadium because he lives nearby. He just trains in isolation. And yeah, he's available, man. This is just weird to think about. In the last league campaign in Holland where he was actually fit and playing, I believe it was 18-19 or 17-18, a little while ago, but he got 18 league goal contributions from midfield. 18! As well as winning four Man of the Match awards on a title-winning campaign. Very, very impressive indeed from the relatively young player. Is this someone that could actually contribute to Frank Lampard's project? Chelsea are looking for someone to play between the lines, maybe. If the Coutinho interest is legitimate, why not consider Marco Van Hinkle, a player that you've already got uh, and, you know, probably won't cost you much money at all, even with a contract extension. Very, very interesting case indeed. I'll be watching this one closely, updating you guys with my opinion on it and also listening to your opinion on Marco Van Hinkle and whether you think he could be a big player in Chelsea's future? We'll have to wait and see and find out, but it's an interesting one to keep an eye on. Before we talk about Lautaro Martinez, let's cover Gabriel. The Lille centre-half that's been attracting a lot of interest apparently saw both Chelsea Football Club and Everton FC duking it out for the centre-half and basically contacting Lille and both trying to get the transfer over the line. I think the player is pretty much ready for the big money move and a few weeks ago Maybe a couple of weeks ago, regardless, Chelsea were really confident of getting it over the line, or so say if reports. Certainly, talks have started a long time ago, and negotiations perhaps on the Zoom app <laughs> or Skype. Point being, the talks have been ongoing, and Everton have also expressed a heavy interest. Now, don't discount Everton because they're a big club, they've got a good team, they've got money to spend, and also a really important thing here is they've got Carlo Ancelotti as the coach. Sure, Chelsea fans are related with Frank Lampard being a club legend and showing promise generally as a football coach, 
He hasn't really done anything as a manager. And there's Carlo Ancelotti, who's literally done everything everywhere. So in terms of attracting a young player, Chelsea fans can't discount the pull of Carlo Ancelotti still, even today, in his perhaps autumn years. But Chelsea maintain confident that they can get the transfer over the line, as was the story a couple of weeks ago. And the headlines this morning are reaffirming or fermenting that motion or notion, should I say. So another center half, a highly rated one, not one that I was particularly thinking about before the uh, transfer links or stories. I do want to do a video properly on Chelsea centre-backs, you know, perhaps having Gabriel in there, but also I want to talk about the ones that are currently on the Chelsea roster, who I rate the highest and who I can actually see playing in the future. So look out for that Chelsea centre-backs video coming out soon. Hopefully you guys find it interesting. Right, Lautaro Martinez, Antonio Conte's Inter's super striker or super striker one of two with Romelu Lukaku. Doesn't get as many goals as Lukaku, but is more like the skill, flair, creative man, I suppose, cloak and dagger type. Very impressive footballer in terms of how he plays. Not astronomical numbers, a relatively astronomical <laughs> potential transfer fee. A power clause about around 100 million pounds, a lot of money. But indeed, very, very highly rated. We know Barcelona are very, very interested. And Lotaro's agents recently come out and said, yes, there's interest elsewhere as well. He spoke of the likes of Manchester City and Chelsea Football Club. He'd be the ideal Sergio Aguero replacement, so I can see what's the deal there. Obviously, they've got um, Gabriel Jesus, but he's, you know, why not have two good strikers at your club? Especially if you're Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, I get it probably matches their ambition. But he confirmed that Chelsea Football Club have made contact and are interested in Martinez, which off the bat is very, very promising. And it shows Chelsea's ambition is starting to come back into the picture because he's a big, big player, man. Now, when you think about what Chelsea need in the centre forward position, you think perhaps loads of goals, like just an elite marksman and experience. Martinez doesn't really bring either of those things. I think he's a similar age as Tammy Abraham, and like I said, he doesn't score loads and loads of goals, but what he is is an absolutely magnificent footballer, and perhaps I'm not so sure Tammy Abraham could play with Lautaro Martinez because we've seen Frank Lampard try and play a two-striker system probably once, maybe twice, when the season started, but certainly he tried it a couple of times before the season started with a diamond midfield. He tried both Michy Bachoy and Tammy Abraham up together, and to be honest, in my opinion, it didn't really work, and it didn't really look good. Now, I'm not saying this can't work. Perhaps Tammy Abraham can play the Romelu Lukaku role in that Lautaro two striker partnership vibe and maybe Tammy can get a few more goals and Lotaro can sort of just be a bit more devastating combining on the break etc regardless he's a very very silky footballer and he's very highly rated obviously Messi really wants him to come to Barcelona his Argentine countryman so he's highly rated is he the answer to Chelsea's problems immediately? I'm not so sure. I can't really see that, to be honest. Is he going to be really cheap? No. Does my inner FIFA playing kid want him at Chelsea? Yes. <laughs> like I said, it does scream ambition because it's bringing in quality regardless, but he's not necessarily the type of striker that I would have thought Chelsea needed. I, you know, I'd love to be proved wrong because I love the player generally. So hopefully if there is something in this, Chelsea can get the transfer over the line. Perhaps, this is something I've mentioned before on Football Therapy, perhaps Inter are keen to sell because they spent so much money the last two transfer windows in attempting to get the Scudetto over the line for Antonio Conte. And of course, financial fair play, which by the way, may be relaxed, happens in a um, three year cycle. So perhaps they needed to get some money, you know, in the bank and get some, get him off the books essentially while he's hot, while he's worth a lot of money. Perhaps Chelsea can get him for less than his buyout clause. Who knows, maybe 60, 70, 80 million pounds. Maybe not the full 100. We'll have to see. But anyway, I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on these stories I've spoken of today. Firstly, man, Marco Van Henkel. Can you see him doing anything in the Chelsea setup? Do you remember him playing? Do you think there's a place for him, even like just to be rotated and given a chance with the likes of Mason Mount and Ross Barkley? I'll be keen to get your thoughts on that. It's a very peculiar, well, not peculiar situation, but certainly interesting one. Let me know your thoughts on Gabriel. Are you backing him as a centre-back to come in and just 
just change Chelsea's defence maybe? I haven't really watched them enough, so I'm going to be honest there. I'd like to get your opinion on that. And of course, Lautaro Martinez, which would certainly be a high profile transfer to Chelsea Football Club and him coming to Stamford Bridge to play under Frank Lampard would certainly be exciting but let me know your thoughts on that player as well would you rather get like Moussa Dembele as perhaps a striker who score a few more goals as a lone striker or would you want to spend a bit more money and get Martinez get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and opinions on these transfer stories also while I'm in lockdown in isolation, I'm doing Instagram lives every single day to hang out with you guys and talk football. So make sure you do come follow me on Instagram, which is at Football Yannick, the same as my Twitter handle. That's it for me, everyone. Happy Easter. Enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby